Today we're in Holyoke, Massachusetts on Main Street and we're looking at the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church, finished in 1917. The first Greeks arrived in 1900 into Holyoke, of course, working in the mills. And by 1905, there was starting to be interest to get something going in terms of the church. And in that year, they started going down to Springfield on a trolley to have their weekly mass. There, there was a big Greek Orthodox church down there. And by, by 1910, they were in the position that they, they started meeting together and saying, oh, can we do something? You know, taking a trolley is great, but being all in a group together is even better. Right. And so in 1916, finally they got uh, letters off to you know, the only Greek diocese in the world at that time, which was in Greece. And they gave them permission, and then they started getting money together, they got their group together. By the end of 1916, all of what they had done started to come together because they were building this building. And then 1917, finished first masses. Now you can see the stained glass windows throughout. It's gorgeous inside. I've been in it a couple times. It's in an architectural style called the Byzantine style, and specifically what style from about 900 years ago. And along this side, it has a nice churchyard, and they have a social function hall in the basement, and they have a bell from a previous institution there. They have a nice parking lot along the side. It used to be the Skinner Coffee House along its left side, and nowadays they use that for a parking lot. Now, they've done their history very nicely, and they have a booklet that explains their history, but their webpage also explains their history, and so I suggest that you come here, try, try to come in on a day and get inside, which is Sunday during Mass, or during one of their open houses, which they have a couple times a year. And then you'll you'll see how gorgeous it is inside. It, it's so beautiful inside. Out more than any place in Hoyle, I would encourage you to try to get in there and see all the beautiful uh, mosaics to have towards the front and the beautiful altar area. And I I remember the first time I see it, I was quite overwhelmed. So it's a very active community still, and they have a Greek festival every year. I think it was in. October, and it's, he'll have hundreds of people to come in here just to get their wonderful Greek food. Okay, so again, it's on a nice stretch of Main Street, and thank you very much for coming.